What's up guys? Got another uh, protein supplement review here today. Today we got SciTech Nutrition's Protein Pudding. And as you can see right here, they call it a gourmet dessert with casein and whey proteins. Right here we're saying, you know, it's certified and all this other stuff. Uh, I guess they make this in Europe. Um, high protein instant pudding, as you guys can see right there, it's a 40, 40 grams total. And this is the double chocolate flavor as you can see right here it says not uh, naturally and artificially flavored so that's it for the front of the package there i already ripped it up because obviously it's already i've already uh made it anyways yeah it's gonna be hard to read that i don't know if you guys can be able to read that anyways there we go so it's 145 calories which is very minimum 20 calories from fat you guys can barely see that it's two grams of total fat one gram saturated you got 25 milligrams cholesterol 15 sodium total carbs total uh, carbohydrates is two grams and only two grams of sugar and a wonderful very high amount of protein there you guys can see right there 30 30 grams of protein right there so you got 30 grams of protein in this pudding and 40 percent calcium also so that's that's pretty nice right there yeah, sorry, this is a, a shiny package, so it's it's really hard to uh, see the see the uh, the lettering there. But I'm go ahead and read the uh, I think they have the the ingredient list on here. Actually, nah, I don't really have it that good on there. I'm trying to look at it online. I'll just read it to you guys. Uh, so the ingredients you got calcium casinate first ingredient, then whey protein concentrate. So those are the main sources of protein, and the rest is just like the sweeteners and all the other stuff. So you don't really gotta know the whole ingredient thing. And the directions for it, you just gotta shake it. <clears throat> it says use a shaker to, to mix one serving or the 40 grams of the powder with uh, seven ounces of water and then shake vigorously until it, it thickens. Now, guys, I have a shaker. Uh, it has like an inside, it already has like a little kind of grating type of thing in the inside. And I also added a blender ball for, you know, just to smooth everything out nice and clean. So it says to put in seven ounces of water, I put seven ounces of water, and then I put the powder in there, and like legit, I only shook it like one time, and everything was like stuck. Like it already had formed into like a pudding consistency, so it forms very quickly. The thing is that it really makes a mess. Like the a lot of the pudding stuff, it sticks to your shaker, like to the grater. It just, it just sticks everywhere. So be, be prepared to clean up if you're gonna make it, you know, in a shaker. And anyways, here guys, here's the uh, actual pudding right here. So here's how it looks like. You guys can see. Kind of, you know, has a uh, pudding consistency. Now, I, I had it in the freezer. It says right there, uh, it says, uh, what does it say? It says chilled pudding is even more pleasant. But So yeah, I, have it, I had it chilled, put it in the freezer for like, I don't know, like 30 minutes or something like that. So it's like pretty, pretty coldish. So you can see it has like a pudding consistency. I mean, look at that kind of like jello-ish so let's go ahead and uh, give it a try here I kind of tasted it already earlier but let's go ahead and actually get a taste test here on the video okay here we go mm. okay so it's very stuck to the the spoon here because it, it was like you know in the freezer obviously so we got a little icy in there ah. mm-hmm so the flavor very bland it's very mild so it doesn't have a really strong flavor and what I see people uh, suggesting here on the website they're saying use a sweetener so a lot of people are saying you know to use like a sweetener uh, you know to, to add a flavor to it because right now the, the flavor is very mild guys it's very minimal it just kind of tastes like I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like it doesn't it doesn't taste horrible or anything like that. It's just like it's very empty. Like doesn't really like taste like chocolate or anything like that. Like I'm I'm tasting it and I don't know. It's just like weird. Some guys right here though, like I'm saying, says right here. Some guys a comment says with a few packets of of sweetener, this tastes just like regular pudding, and it says. It, it, they, that they think it comes out with a better consistency if they use almond milk instead of the water. But I mean, guys, you get 30 grams of protein, 
uh, for the whole thing for only 145 calories. So that's excellent amount. And it really doesn't taste horrible. So, I mean, if you really need that protein, you really want to get it in, I mean, I suggest you guys try it out. You know, if you guys, you guys are into, like, pudding or something like that, and you guys want something, like, that tastes like really healthy pudding, because this is, like, like I said, it tastes very bland. So, you know, you got, you're going to probably have, have to add, like, a sweetener or, like, mess around with the flavor or something like that. Like, to me, the flavor here is very bland, very mild. Like, it doesn't stand out. It just kind of, like, I don't know, like, I taste it, and it's just, like, it's not strong, you know? Mm. I don't know. It's just very weird, guys. Um, so, yeah, it makes a mess, though, in the shaker cup, like I'm saying. I, I shook it one time, and everything was, like, stuck to the to the shaker cup. So, it makes a lot of mess. Uh, so, like I said, be pretty clean. Now, I got this as a sample. As you can see, it's just a little sample size or whatever. Uh, it is the actual amount, though, the actual serving. It's 40, 40 grams, which is what the actual serving is though I'm pretty sure let me look right here just to make sure yeah because they sell they sell it in 10 servings guys and it's 10 servings for 1406 uh, on a muscle and strength.com so if you guys want to try it out it's gonna be right there and it also says it also says that you could buy a, a sample which they, they give it to you for free and it's only this flavor right here the double chocolate you also have a vanilla ice cream flavor or something like that yeah, vanilla ice cream, which I obviously haven't tried yet. A lot of people says that one, a lot of people say that one's better, and that one tastes like a cake batter, and it tastes good with banana inside. So pretty much, guys, to make this taste good, you're gonna have to add uh, some Splenda, like a sweetener, or you know, or like I don't know, banana, or I don't know, add something to it, pretty much. So you know, if you don't add anything anything to it, it's gonna be very bland. Like right now, like I, I could eat it, but it's like it's like nothing like you know the only good thing is you know it, it gives you that protein but like i'm not really getting a flavor out of this like it's extremely mild so yeah not a strong chocolate flavor guys so for my rating here uh out of 10 i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go ahead and give this a seven a seven out of ten guys i'll give it a seven out of ten on the flavor it just doesn't have enough flavor for me so seven out of ten I'm not, I'm not gonna give it a really low flavor because it is something different there's not a lot of protein pudding out there so i mean look at it. it has a protein consistency you see that it's it's chilled right now and look at it, it has a nice consistency but it just needs more more taste more flavor so i don't know i'm gonna see if i could add something to this to make it taste good like really taste edible ish like right now it's edible but it doesn't you know i need like some flavor you know pretty much what i'm saying so yeah guys seven out of ten that's gonna be it for this review uh subscribe if you want to see more reviews and other type of videos and yeah that's gonna be it guys so thanks for watching and yeah catch you guys on the next video